For our next question we have from Pooper Scooper and he says, what if Michael Bay directed Last Jedi? Then there'd be a lot more explosions. How comes every time I say explosions? There's always more explosions. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that word. Once you mention Michael Bay and say explosions. Oh Jesus, I almost lost my phone there. Okay, we're going on to the next question. What's up, Net Soldiers? I'm Net Alliance. Today I'm here with another Ask Net video. So if you guys want to be featured in the next Ask Net video, make sure to leave a comment below. Ask me any type of question you want. It can be a personal question, it can be about Star Wars, it can be about any type of franchises. Let me know and you might just be featured in the next video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more Star Wars content. Now, with that said and out of the way, let's get to the questions. First question is from Bobbert. He says, What movie would you like to become legends if you had to choose? I feel like the one movie that should become Legends out of all, technically nine of them I guess there is, because you can count the uh, Clone Wars animated movie. Honestly, it sounds bad to say, but I gotta say The Force Awakens. I, that's probably the only one I'd want to become Legends, just because I feel like I could have did it much better. But you know what, that's just my opinion. Um, I actually have my own episode seven synopsis that I wanted to see, so if you want to check that out, click up there, the top of the screen, it'll show up. Yeah, probably episode seven. I just feel like they missed the mark in a lot of different places, and I feel like there's different things that they could have did better. And I feel like if they just push that back in Legends, we'll try again with Episode 7, get a better director on board. I don't hate Episode 7, but it could have been done better. So, um, like I said, that's just my opinion, of course. Next question is from Vedanta Kahandi Day? I think I'm right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Do you think Rey will lose against Kylo Ren in The Last Jedi? Yes, kind of. I think what's gonna happen is Kylo's gonna come back with a vengeance. He's been training, do you know what I mean? And Rey has been training as well. I definitely feel like Rey, if she is a Skywalker, she should lose her arm, do you know what I mean? It's like George Lucas said, it's poetry. Do you know, there's always parallels running through the different trilogies. And the main character is just supposed to lose their arm in the second film of the trilogy. So I definitely think Rey will lose her arm. I don't know if Kylo's gonna be the one to take it off though. I think that Snoke might actually be the one to do it. Um, I don't know, it's an interesting idea, but I definitely think that um, if these two fight again, Rey will probably lose and she'll lose her arm. So, there you go. Next question is from Kuhn for Sajov Clip 507. And he said, hey Net, what do you think happened to the Lars homestead after A New Hope? I'm gonna guess a bunch of um, Jawas maybe moved in. I bet there was a, a big Jawa party they had there and stuff. That makes more sense to me. Next question is from Nico Magloia. You guys have interesting names today. Is there any hope for Clone Wars to return? The best Star Wars show ever? Um, sadly, no. I don't think it will ever return. Clone Wars is done. If Disney makes Clone Wars again, they won't, they're gonna make their own way of Clone Wars. It won't be the same type of show. They'll make, they might make a Clone Wars series, maybe? Episode nine. I guess the Kenobi movie is after that then, and then they'll go to their own universe, which will be the Old Republic, and then they're gonna do a bunch of Old Republic stuff. New characters, new universe, all that stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. If they put 100% of their creativity and get good people on board, they could definitely make an awesome franchise out of that itself. So um, when it comes down to it, probably won't have Clone Wars coming back, and if it is, it'll be Disney-fied, if you know what I mean, so it won't be as, uh, as fun as you remember. So, yeah. All right, our next question is from Daniel G. Johnson. He says, why are you so awesome? What can I say, man? That's just how I am. That's just what I do, you know? I, I dab on him, you know what I mean? I hit him with the dab, right? Or I get I get him with that whip, you know what I mean? Get him with that whip. Or, or as the kids say, yeet, 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 yeet. <sighs> I'll see myself out. You're welcome for the cringe. For our next question, we have Mr. Star Wars, and he says, who is your favorite Rogue One character? My favorite Rogue One character is the big uh, fluffy white dog thing in the background. I like him. Um, I'll have his name on screen. He doesn't do anything, but he looks looks cool, so like him. Next question is from We Are Grievous, and he says, hey, Net, what if General Grievous and Count Dooku came back to life in The Force Awakens and had their droid armies? They'd pretty much wreck everyone's day. 
Honestly, just those two together teamed up, just running around. Rave couldn't stop them. I don't think Luke could even stop them, if, especially if they teamed up. Um, Kylo probably definitely wouldn't be able to stop him at all. Um, no one could stop him. Maybe Snoke. We don't know how powerful Snoke is yet, so we'll see. But um, they definitely be a force to reckon with. Next one is from Lacra Instagram. Why do you guys have such fun names today? What do you think happened to Qui-Gon's lightsaber? Now, me personally, I am of the belief that Qui-Gon's lightsaber was broken down and then his crystal was then taken by Luke's in the deleted scene in Return of the Jedi. And that's how Luke made his own lightsaber using Qui-Gon's crystal. And I think that's a really cool way to pay homage to Qui-Gon, but also be like a cool element to kind of think about behind the scenes. Because although that's not confirmed, I'm pretty much 100% Sure, like that's a really cool idea. That's a thing. So I like that idea. Next question is from Disco Piggy Productions. Woo! Dave Filoni announced a new show. What would you want it to be? Um, I kind of answered this earlier, but I'll answer it for your question too, so you get your question answered. Uh, Old Republic show. I'd like to see a Clone Wars return, but when it comes down to it, I think it's time for a whole new world, if you know what I mean. Like, we're gonna go Little Mermaid in this. A whole new world. You know what I mean? We're just gonna have like, New characters, um, same universe, but take place in a time before anything we've seen before, just so we can just do whatever we like. And that's what Disney needs to do. I think they'll definitely flourish if they do that. So, Old Republic TV show, that's what I want. Give it to me, give it. Next question is from Redbrick777. He says, awesome video, hashtag AskNet. Where did you get those lightsabers in the background? What website? Okay, so these lightsabers right here, I got them from Ultra Sabers. They're, uh, they're pretty cool. I use these in my tournaments and stuff. This is actually my original one. This is the one that I actually use. So it's pretty cool. I have all of them set aside right now because I have to recharge the batteries and stuff like that. So yeah, but I got them Ultra Sabers. They got, they're the cheapest site for like, if you want quality lightsabers, you don't want to break your bank. They are the cheapest and the best in my opinion. So yeah. Next question is from Dr. Stapler McDuck. Okay. <laughs> and he has, Here's a question for the next Afternet. What's your credit card number and expiration date and as well as the code on the back? Oh, okay, I'm glad you asked. Well, let me get my wallet out quick. Let's see. All right, you ready? It's... I guess my mic went out at some point. I don't know when it went out, so I'm just gonna continue the video. Net, when will you continue your Jedi Council Survive Order 66 videos? Now, I actually have continued these a long time ago, so I'm actually on chapter four, and chapter five is actually coming out this Saturday, so make sure to like and subscribe for those. If you wanna check them out and you're kinda of wondering, well, what's this? Make sure to go up here. It's a massive story I've been working on for months, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, a lot of people love it. It's one of my most anticipated videos coming out every single week, so. Make sure to like, subscribe for that. Yes. Next question. Hey, Net, who do you think Supreme Leader Snoke is? I've gotten this question a bunch of times. And when it comes down to it, I think Snoke is someone we have not seen before. I'm okay if it's like the whole Plagueis thing, you know, but I want a character kind of like Vitiate. Do you know what I mean? And you guys know who Vitiate is, Darth Vitiate. I did a video on him recently, but I'll, do, I'll just give you a little brief synopsis on him. So Vitiate was essentially a super powerful Sith who disappeared and was not known to anybody, right? So he's just kind of like hiding in the dark, the dark reaches of space, places that the Republic would never see or anyone would ever see. And um, he just comes out of nowhere with a fury. And I feel like that's an awesome idea for what Snoke is. Snoke's been around for thousands of years and that's who he is. He's just a random character, you know? And I could say he's vitiate kind of, bigger than Palpatine this entire time, do you know? Like if he would have showed up during the original trilogy time, he would have wrecked Palpatine's day type of thing. That would be insane. So I definitely think Snoke is gonna be a very big threat. And I hope that Dizzy don't drop the ball on his character, that's for sure. Next question is from Overdrive Explosion. He says, would you want a General Grievous spinoff where we see the origins of him killing Jedi? I don't know if I'd like a specifically a General Grievous spinoff I actually did a video recently, if you want to check out the link up here, it's actually a very interesting video. It's where me and Psychotech go over our different anthology film ideas. And what I would want to see 
is I don't want Grievous to be the main character, but I do think Grievous can be an awesome villain if he's written correctly. Um, best example of this is in the uh, the Now Legends, but the 2003 Clone Wars, the old cartoon one, you know, before the animation stuff, that Grievous is scary. And it'd be awesome to see that Grievous going ham on Jedi, you know, um, and clones and stuff. And it's more of like a survival movie. It's kind of like, I like to use it, use the gray as an example. You guys have seen the gray. It's about these guys who crash land in like the, in Alaska, and then wolves come chasing after them. I wanna see something like that where it's like these clones or these Republic troops and maybe some Jedi crash land on this planet and then the Separatists come after them and this is like the first time Grievous is seen. And, you know, so they don't know who this guy is, they don't know what it is, do you know what I mean? They're just getting attacked by this, this droid with lightsabers and stuff, so I think that'd be really cool. So that's what I wanna see, um, but of course, that's just my opinion. Now our next question is from Totally Not Jeff, and he asked, if Disney decided to ask you and a few other Star Wars YouTubers to cameo in The Last Jedi, and you could pick your role, who would you like to be in Star Wars? Um, that's a great question. I think it'd be awesome to get a bunch of like Star Wars YouTubers to cameo in the film as like stormtroopers, or, or first order troopers. I think that'd just be cool. It'd be like a nice little Easter egg thing. You know how they did that with Daniel Craig? Because Daniel Craig was in the costume, or was in the, First Order troops costume when Ray like mind tricked him. I think that'd be a cool way to kind of shout out to like all the fans and stuff. So like I'd be there. You got Hello Greedo there. Do you know what I mean? Um, even better is like Hello Greedo. He actually has like the Stormtrooper helmet, right? So imagine if it was like all of us and we all have helmets on, and then like it's the one time where Greedo doesn't have a helmet on, and so you actually see his face in the film. Like that, I don't know. I think it'd be funny, but. Yeah, it'd be like a bunch of us. That'd be really cool. I'd definitely do that. I'd go to Lucasfilm. I'd pay for my trip to go there. I'd be in a five second clip. Just, I don't care if it's a five second cameo with all of us in there, I'd totally do it. Someone should definitely write to Lucasfilm and, and say something. That'd just be, that'd be a great time just to hang out with all those guys and stuff and just talk and maybe we just do one massive collab. That'd be great. Our next question is from Lion Link and he says, do you watch any anime? No. I, I watch Dragon Ball Z. But like I used to watch Dragon Ball Z, I don't really watch anymore. I've kind of watched Dragon Ball Super, but I just I just can't get behind it anymore. It's it's just not as good as Dragon Ball Z in my opinion. But I still want to watch it. I keep up with like the updates of it going on and stuff like that. But I'm not a I wouldn't say I'm like a massive fan of Dragon Ball Z anymore. But I do love it. So yeah. All right, and for our last question of the day, this is the Walking Dead tributes, and he says hashtag AskNet. Do you like The Walking Dead? It's a TV show. Yes, I do know it's a TV show. And yes, I do love The Walking Dead. Um, the last few seasons have kind of been a little slow for me. There's been a couple times where I thought I might stop watching, but I'm still watching. So I'm probably gonna watch until the end, or at least until they kill off Rick. So um, yeah, it's one of my favorite TV shows, right behind Spartacus, so yeah. But that's it for all your questions. Thank you guys for the awesome questions. If you wanna have your questions answered in the next AskNet, make sure to leave the questions in the comments below and you might just be featured in the next video. Also, remember to like and subscribe for more Star Wars content. And until next time guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Hey you, yeah you, the one watching this video. You have a body, right? Cool, you know what that means? You need some clothes to cover that body. Luckily, NetAlliance is here with the merch for you. We got shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, we even have mugs. But the sweet NetAlliance merch won't last forever. So make sure to follow the link in the description below to pick up some sweet NetAlliance merch. Isn't that right, Palpatine? Do it.